Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a reverb through the Apogee control. Uh, this video is for Apogee users if you have the Ensemble or the Element series. So I'm going to show you how to set up the reverb and get no latency in heavy projects that you're working with. One of the big problems that you can get into in a studio is latency. Um, what that is, it's the audio going through the microphone into the uh, audio interface, into your computer, and then back. And sometimes you get a bit of delay there, and that's pretty hard if you have a live artist that's going to try to sing or play a guitar solo or something, um, listening to what they're doing uh, in delay. So that's pretty hard. and. I'm going to show you how to get through and pass that. So I have a vocal track here and let's just say that we have a lot of other tracks here and a lot of plugins up and also as you can see I have the buffer size at max. So if I was going to turn on the software monitoring here I would have a massive delay and a much bigger delay with a big session, okay? so. The reason you don't hear any delay with me talking now is because I am monitoring straight through the Apogee. So I'm just listening straight through the audio interface, not the computer. But the signal is dry and pretty boring. So if you have a singer in the studio that really wants reverb, I'm going to show you how to get that reverb into Apogee control. Uh, the singer will have reverb with no latency, no delay. Uh, in a busy, busy session with a max buffer settings. So as you can see in the mixer, I have a vocal and I have reverb. Okay, so but I won't hear anything from the reverb because I have turned off input monitoring from Logic. So I'm just listening straight through the Apogee. So what I need to do, I have to go down to the mixer options, create a new auxiliary channel strip. Um, and here on the input, I need to send it to the FX send. I only want to listen to this through Apogee control. Okay. So to get this working, I need to have the same bus that I have on the vocal on this auxiliary. So reverb. And I'm going to turn it on max. So I'm going to rename this FX send. And I'm going to turn up this fader. So I'm basically done now. So we're going to jump over to Apogee Control. So in Apogee Control, you need to go here to the monitoring section first. And at default, it's set to playback 1 and 2. So you have to put this on Mixer 1. And Mixer 1, you can see here, this is the input channels. So from Logic, I send it to the effects track here. So I need to find effects. So you find effects, send right here, just turn that on. And now you can see you have all these new faders. So I'm monitoring through channel one and up here, this is where I'm gonna control how much reverb I'm getting. So I'm turning up here, you will hear more and more reverb. So now there's reverb on my voice and it has no latency. And you can see here that again, that the buffer setting in Logic is maxed. Now let's say, the vocalist wants to have reverb, but you don't want to listen to the reverb. You want it dry, okay? Then you can set up different mixes. So I just turned down the effect channel master fader here on mixer 2. So you won't hear anything that the singer is hearing. You will hear the dry uh, mix. So you can listen to mix 2 and the vocalist can listen to the reverb one. So this is the beauty of the Apogee control. And a really, really nice thing that is coming uh, this fall, I think, from Apogee is they added DSP into the audio interface uh, from the start off without telling us. So what are they coming with now is plugins which we also can use in here. So they're coming with EQ compressor um, with a reverb and it's going to be amazing to just put on effects on the channel here so the vocalist can listen to a really 
nice track when they're singing and you just can turn on mixer 2 and you just have the dry signal if you just want that so i hope you like this video uh please subscribe hit the like button and check out other videos that's out on my channel and i hope to see you next time